Hello everyone, Alex here from We Talk UAV again. Today we wanted to perform a short test on video latency on both Inspire 2 and the Phantom 4 Pro. The purpose is very easy. We will set up the drone with its camera to film this stopwatch here and we'll be recording simultaneously the screen on both controllers to calculate the video latency. Oh, and also DJI has claimed to have lowered a lot the video latency on both drones, so I will be comparing it with my Phantom 3 Pro to see if that is true. Now, video latency, very simply explained, is the delay in seconds or milliseconds that exists when transmitting from a camera to a screen in real time. And when talking about drones, as you've probably noticed, this is something to have in mind always. Let's see first the video delay on the Phantom 4 Pro, then on the Inspire 2 and see what it means. Phantom 4 Pro turns out to have a video latency on this test of about 0.018 milliseconds up to 0.020, which is really awesome. The Inspire 2, on the other hand, turns out to have a video latency of 0.016 milliseconds, which is even better than the Phantom 4 Pro. Now that is a really interesting result. The Phantom 3 Pro has a video latency of 0.021 milliseconds, which is not really far away from the Phantom 4 Pro. So I don't know, maybe overall this hasn't been improved a lot. Now what does this mean? Of course I am not finishing the video just by giving you the numbers and telling you hey this is awesome, uh, you will be flying awesome with these numbers. Now let's do some simple mathematics to see how this affects our flying. Now let's take the example of 50 km per hour which is 31.1 miles per hour and most of the drones nowadays are able to reach those speeds. Of course some of them are even doubling up the speed and racing drones are also way higher, but I wanted to take a number that most of the people that are watching this video will be able to feel addressed to. So for this mathematics, we're putting here the kilometers and the miles per hour into meters per seconds or feet per seconds. Now 50 kilometers per hour are 14 meters per second. Of course, you have to remember we have always to divide by 3.6 and uh, 31.1 miles per hour in feet are about 45 feet per second. And then let's for example take the latency of the Phantom 4 Pro, which is 0.020 and 14 meters per second uh, on the Phantom 4 Pro times the 0.020 latency of the Phantom 4 Pro give us a result of 0.3 meters or one foot. This means that actually when we believe the drone is for example one meter away of the wall it actually would be 0.7 meters or instead of three feet it would be two feet away of course this is not really dangerous but imagine now that your inspire 2 for example is almost able to fly twice that speed which would mean doubling the distance and of course here we have to add the time of human reaction 
first of our brain giving the decision to our fingers, for example, to lifting up the drone, and the average for the human reaction is 0.3 seconds, plus the time that the drone at the distance takes to lift up. And that amount of time plus the delay increases the chances of crashing. So always bear in mind those little details. And I thought it was pretty interesting to see those results, especially if you're, for example, flying racing drones or with FPV goggles. And I know nowadays the newer drones all have sensors in that, but if you turn them off or you're just having a drone without sensors, it's pretty interesting to keep those numbers in mind. I really hope you liked this video and it was helpful for you. And of course, Always keep calm and let's talk UAV.